What's up, YouTube? We're over here at Elite Juice Reviews again, kicking it off again once more time tonight over here at my apartment up here in Humble, Texas. Um, we're going to be kicking off another four juices, pretty much a blind taste test. One of us may have had the flavor a couple of times before and kind of has an insight on it. Um, but today we're going to be trying uh, four more flavors for you, trying to bang out as much as we can right out the gate so you guys are a little bit more informed on what's out there and um, be able to feed off in the comments of what you like. And remember our contest on my last video um, with our Andromeda. If you can tell me about the Andromeda Galaxy, where it is, what it's all about, don't Wikipedia it. That's cheating. The good Lord Jesus didn't invent Google for that kind of crap. Remember, sign off in the comments about anything that you uh, like or don't like or things that you want to see us change. We'll be able to fix that up for you. Today or tonight or our third review that we got going on today, we're going to be reviewing Drake's Vapes, Dracula. Um, we're going to also be reviewing French Vanilla by Vapon out of Conroe, Texas. Astro, for all of my Space Jam fans out there, we did talk about Space Jam a little bit on our last video, and then uh, a juice that really hits it off hard at our shop, and I really wanted to kind of review a tobacco flavor um, on the on the channel so that we'd be able to give you guys a good kind of review on that, and that's going to be Sub Zero. Um, most of these are going to be in either an 18 or a zero, so you know that I'm going to have a tough time. But my boy, Ben, and Hunter are going to be able to handle that a little bit better than I am. Mama didn't raise no pussy, son. And that, man, that's my line. You're taking my shit, and then you're just rolling it up and making it your own. But um, I have mine loaded right now up in my Stingray with my Patriot up top uh, with some Dracula. My boy over here, he's going to be running his Cronus with his Patriot. And special guest star Hunter today. He's going to be running his Kraken tank, which is already preloaded with Dracula to start us off. We're going to be passing around, puff, puff, pass. You guys know the drill. So let's get this started off with our Dracula today, see how it comes out, see how I like it off of a drip. This is my first time dripping it. I uh, always ran this in a Nautilus tank, uh, the Dracula, which is a blood orange, black cherry, and guava. Um, I always ran it off of a Nautilus tank. It's my first time dripping it. So we're going to see how I like it off of that. Most of the flavors we'll do on here is going to be dripped. Every now and then we're going to be throwing in some tanks, so stay tuned to see how those come out. Um, but here we go with that uh, Dracula off of a drip. And holy shit, that's an 18. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time, it's an 18. Down here, it's an 18. Uh, gnarly throat hit on a drip with an 18. As you go down in your nicotine levels, of course you guys are not going to see that kind of a crazy throat hit, but the uh, blood orange, the black cherry, and the guava are going to come through um, really well. Very fresh flavors. Uh, Drake's Vapes has never disappointed me in the past. Uh, recently, I've been uh, dripping Vanilla Trifecta uh, from Drake's Vapes, which is a phenomenal flavor. I mean, they put a lot into that one, um, and the Dracula, I mean, comes in real strong just like that. Passing over to my boy Ben because an 18 is a little rough for this old man in the middle. Yeah, you can really taste it. Um, it's got strong citrus flavor, um, but it ha does have that undertones like you were saying. And, you know, I, I wouldn't call it an all-day vape. It's definitely kind of harsh. I mean, it might just be the 18. But, um, you know, being that it's citrus, a lot of citrus flavors do hit a little harder than, um, you know, say, vanilla. And remember with those citrus flavors, guys, you want to make sure you're putting them into a glass tank if you are tanking them. Uh, don't want anybody burning into any kind of plastics or anything like that, so make sure you take that into consideration as well. Um, so I'm not going to have my boy Hunter hit it off of his Kraken tank, which I built <laughs> with cotton. And microcoils. And not silica. And not silica. Because that's like the bastard friend. That's the friend that like tries to bang your sister to cotton. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're having a little fun tonight. Um, what do you think of that, man? Uh, it's definitely a stronger flavor. You get a lot of flavor out of it. Mm -hmm. And it's basically my go-to flavor anytime 
I'm going to disagree. I can vape this all day long. Fair enough. So that's what we got. We got disagreements. They might fight between me. I don't know. <laughs> but, I mean, that's that's what's perfect about it. You're getting a couple different opinions this time around. Um, like you said, I mean, that's a great all-day vape for you. Yeah. I mean, what, what do you like most about it, really? Uh, I like that it has a strong flavor with mm. it, and just all the flavors come together perfect. Yeah. And that's something that I find with Drake's vapes is all their flavors, whether it's um, Dracula... Vanilla Trifecta, Punky Bruiser, YOLO. I hate saying that. <laughs> Guys, please rename your juice. YOLO's so dead. YOLO's so dead. Call it like only once you live. Maybe because I'm wearing Semper a yeah, Semper Fi. <laughs> I mean, I, YOLO is just the Jersey Shore douchebag term that I can't get behind. But I mean, it's a, it's a good vape. And, and it's the same thing with Dracula that we're finding. is It's, it's for some people an all-day vape. Some people it's not. And and that's the beauty of it. Sound off in the comments if it's a great all day vape for you. Remember, you're looking at elite juice reviews. One, three, three, seven. Juice reviews. I put up too many fingers. I don't know. I don't know math anymore. It's getting late. And apparently he's no good to me dead. My phone's sounding off over there in the corner. Um, but I'm gonna hand this off for some recottoning over here for uh, for Ben to go into. And our next one that we're going to be doing is our Vape On. It's a brand that we do carry up there at the E-Cigarette Vapor Lounge in Humble, Texas. Represent. If you guys are ever out in Humble, Texas, make sure you're able to stop by. Come say hi to me. If you say hi to me, you mentioned uh, the Leech Use Reviews. We are going to give you an awesome discount on your buy, 10% off. It's a great, great way for us to be able to get our name out there, as well as all the different juices out there. We're going to review stuff that we have in shop, but if you guys have stuff at home that you like, let me know. I'm going to buy it, or if any of you vendors out there are able to check us out, let me know. I'm going to definitely uh, try everyone, give you guys a fair chance here on our Juice Review uh, channel to make sure that everybody out there on YouTube is informed about what's out there in the vaping world because there's so, so much. I had one called Fresh Cut Grass. Who the hell is gonna vape that? Me. But let's see if uh, let's see if you guys like that out there as well. Let me know what your favorite flavors are. I'll sound off in the comments. Let me know what you guys like. Right now we're gonna do some French vanilla on a drip. This is actually a zero in French vanilla, so I'm gonna be able to get ultimate flavor, ultimate vapor off of it, off of his Cronus with that beautiful Patriot man. Those Patriots are just nice. We gotta dremel you out a little bit, but no problem there. So let's see how this one's doing. And I got nothing. Maybe that's because I should have unlocked this button first. Ooh, that would help. Maybe not. Maybe that's his fault for not unlocking the button for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see how this one does. Sorry, sweetheart. Wow. That is a good vanilla flavor off of a drip. And I'm normally, I'm normally not drawn to too many vanilla flavors. I'm very selective on my vanilla flavors. Um, vanilla Trifecta being one of them. Um, maybe you guys out there have heard of a brand called Suicide Bunny. Oh, yeah. Maybe. I don't know. They're kind of popular. We are going to be doing some juice reviews for them pretty soon. Um, but they're, uh, this is a good, this is not a bad vanilla dripped. Um, it's not the best vanilla I've ever had. But it's definitely something for you guys out there who are first starting to get into juices to so definitely try out. Maybe in a tank or if you want to try it up into a mech mod. Let's give it one more toot and see what's up. It's coming through a lot nicer than I really remembered it tasting off of a tank. Which is great for vape on. They're, they're a local company in Texas. Um, that's trying to get their flavors out there. We do carry them in our shop in the E-Sig and Vapor Lounge. What do you think? Yeah, it's it's really straightforward flavor. Um, yeah. There's not a lot to say about it besides it's vanilla. Yes. But it is a nice, warm hit. Um, it doesn't hit hard at all. It's smooth. Mm -hmm. And I'm a big fan of it. I'm usually not very drawn to uh, vanilla flavors. I, I'm, I'm more drawn to, like, if, if it's, like, you know, custard or milk. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that, like <coughs> shameless plug for milk and honey again. I think this is the fifth time today. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's it's a great flavor. Um, 
and you know supporting our local companies is nice yeah i mean so, that's that's the beauty of it we do have vape bomb as one of our house blends that is in shop where they have literally tons and tons of flavors that i will be trying over the course of these reviews and french vanilla just happened to make its way into this one let's uh pass it off over here onto hunter make sure that guy's nice and moist and uh right. see what he thinks about it let's try it Well, once again with the once again the locking pin. Nobody this knows guy. how to work the Cronus. This guy doesn't. <laughs> this guy is not setting us up right. But Cronus, if you guys do have a Cronus at home, you know that it has that little finicky locking pin on the bottom. Make sure finicky. You're... Take how how hard is it to slide the lock? <laughs> Apparently, I don't know do you even vape, bro? <laughs> Now, if you're a first-time vapor, if you've never used a Cronus before, it has a little locking pin on the bottom that you do nice, have to slide. Nice ghost. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not bad at all. It's a really smooth flavor. It's yeah. it's vanilla. It's, it's really vanilla. straightforward mm -hmm. what you'd expect from a vanilla flavor. It tastes really good. I like it a lot. Um, this one I could not vape all day. Definitely yeah, not. it's definitely really no rich way. compared to most flavors. Yeah, yeah, it's which, a real rich flavor. Which proves a problem if you're going to try to vape it all day. It's yeah. one of those every once in a while kind of a treat kind of thing. Yeah, it's yeah, kind of it, like a dessert after yeah. you have one. And that's all great. Days. For some of you people out there that may be using zero nicotine, maybe as a appetite curve or something like that, try to stay off sweets because there are people out there that use that. This could be for you. This could be for you. Mix it up with a little chocolate. Mix it up with any other flavor that you may find. And, and that's the beauty of it. Mix it with whatever the heck you want and see what comes out. If you find a great blend for vape on French vanilla, sound off in the comments. Reviews at gmail.com. <laughs> um, so as he recottons his Cronus over there, I am going to be Thank you. putting his locking <laughs> pin on. I have a Cronus. I don't even know why I'm having these problems. But we're, uh, we're going to be trying off some Astro real quick. Um, this is another one of those great Space Jam flavors. Um, if you remember from our last video, we were talking about Space Jam for a little bit about yeah. how awesome uh, Michael Jordan, Bill Murray, Muggsy Bogues, Larry Bird were in that movie, acting alongside such greats as people like Daffy Duck, <laughs> Bugs, Bunny. Bugs Bunny, Marvin the Martian, Elmer Foghorn Fudd. Leghorn, Elmer, Elmer Fudd. Fudd. That motherfucker can play some basketball. I don't know if you know, <laughs> he's short like me. I ain't tall at all. But Elmer Fudd, man, one of these days, you're going to see him dunk just like Muggsy Bogues. Because Muggsy Bogues was like, what, 5'5"? Five, five? He wasn't wearing no platform shoes. Hell no. He was just a short man with a dream to dunk a basketball. <laughs> Muggsy Bogues, I salute you. This is Astro. And that's also Astro in 18. <laughs> um, <laughs> totally forgot that was an 18, but that's good. Um, Astro is a phenomenal flavor. You got your Granny Smith apple, you have your strawberry, and the way they blend together is great. You have a very phenomenal sweetness to both of them. They're very, 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 very fresh, and at the same time, you're seeing that blend of the two flavors coming together as a great inhale, exhale, and throat hit. The 18, of course, higher nicotine level, you are gonna see that heavier throat hit. Um, but at the same time, you're finding that flavor coming through very, very strong. If you're into strong, sweet flavors, this is something I definitely recommend to you. Passing it off to Hunter as my buddy uh, Ben over here is re-cottoning over there in the corner. That is really good. I actually haven't tried Astro before, and I really enjoy this flavor. You can definitely taste the flavors coming together. Well, I'm going to try another hit of that. Yeah, I mean, of course. One more time. One more time. Uno mas. For my friends that have seen any of those Jackie Chan Western movies that are freaking amazing. Yeah, and one thing to note is in the 18, this flavor comes through really strong, like stronger than most flavors would at a higher nicotine level. Like you can really, really taste it. It's good and it has a strong throat hit with it. So mm -hmm. I actually really like this and I'm probably going to pick some up. Yeah. For those of you out there who haven't tried uh, any of the Space Jam flavors, I urge you to do so. Urge you to do so. They're so well made, great blended flavors. 
What do you think, Ben? It's a really nice flavor. Um, it's it's not as sweet as say kryptonite. It doesn't have that sugary taste to it, but it definitely has the fruity taste to it. And you can, the way the uh, apples mix with the strawberries is just phenomenal. Um, because I, I taste the apple more than anything. It tastes just like a bite out of Granny Smith apple. Yeah. But I can still taste that strawberry undertone in there. Yeah. And I really like yeah. it. And that's what's cool about it is that strawberry and green apple blend so well together, like I said before, that you don't find it where it's overpowering on either note. Mm -hmm. You're finding the perfect blend of the two where it works great. For some people, maybe as an all-day vape, for, for some of you people that are looking for more of a sweeter vape, it might be great for you as well. Um, something that you might find great tanked or something like that. Um, where There's that little guy. Fell over. We fell <laughs> down. Um, and that's what's great about Space Jam. Really, guys, try Space Jam. Very consistent. Vape all of the Space Jam juice. Yeah, Space Jam is amazing. SGVA, Space Jam, vape them all. <laughs> and if you don't have a shirt, check out their website. They got some awesome swag on there from hats, t-shirts. Maybe they got some thongs for you sexy ladies out there. Two single guys. And by single guys, I mean me. Um... <laughs> But uh, definitely check out their juice, guys. It's it's really well made. I really enjoyed the Astro. On our last one, we definitely tried out the uh, Andromeda as well. Um, but Astro's got those great S Granny Smith apple notes as well as your strawberry. Blends really well. Moving on to the Halo juice for Sub-Zero. This is going to be one of the first tobacco flavors that we've tried um, on here. And I'm excited. I'm, I'm kind of excited. I am going to unlock the Cronus before I take my first hit. Um, but I'm excited for this. It's going to be a tobacco with a menthol. So for you, all of you guys that are menthol smokers out there, this could definitely be something that's going to be worth it for you. Definitely if you're trying to get off cigarettes, as well as anybody that's looking for a strong, strong menthol. Because from what I've heard, I've only tried this in a tiny little tester tank. I'm going to be dripping this now in a zero. Zero. Thank so God. not too harsh. <laughs> If this is an 18 or 24, it might be a little harder. But um, trying it out in a zero is going to be perfect to give you guys the exact flavor that we're looking for. So let's shoot this off and see how we like it. That's menthol all the way down to the core, man. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. It's like I got blasted by Sub-Zero in my freaking groin. <laughs> Whew. Anybody out there play Mortal Kombat? Down back low punch. That's what it tastes like. Like, holy cow. I still have that menthol all down my throat. Phenomenal throat hit, even in a zero. For those of you who are looking for that great throat hit, Halo really produces phenomenal juice. Um, if you're looking for tobacco products or tobacco and uh, flavors, Halo is really the way to go. Um, this Sub-Zero, I mean, even breathing in right now and speaking, I'm tasting that menthol and that tobacco. Um, very reminiscent of those of you who may maybe smoked your uh, Marlboro menthols or Camel Crush or something like that. It's very strong. Give it one more toot and then passing it on to my boy Ben. Holy shit. Yeah, that is menthol to the max, man. Whew. I feel like I just drank Icy Hot for <laughs> the first time. Like The first time you use Icy Hot, you just rub it all over. Yeah, this was uh, my go-to flavor when I first started vaping. And being someone who came from, you know, Camel Crush, Camel Menthol, uh, Marlboro Menthol, I was a huge menthol fan. And I saw this, tried it out, and I was like, wow, this is a great hit. You can feel it even after you take the hit. It, it lasts for a good, like, minute and a half yeah. sometimes. Like, I'm still feeling it now. Yeah. And it, I don't know, it's... um. It's a nice cooling flavor. There's a little hint of tobacco. Mm -hmm. It's more minty than anything. Yeah. And I really like that because um, I was also someone who chewed gum a lot. And <laughs> being someone like that, it was it was a nice refreshing uh, change for most of the fruity flavors. And, uh, you know, all around, it's, it's a solid cooling throat hit. It's a little harsh sometimes, especially up in the higher nicotine levels. Um, but, you know, it... It cools off your throat and it tastes great. I'm gonna take one more hit and pass it to Hunter. We may need to refill this guy just a little bit because we've been <laughs> yeah. knocking on it a little bit. 
Oh wow, yeah. Let's let's go ahead and refill this little guy. Just a bit. Get that cotton nice and moist. Um, um, but once again, guys, if you if you like any of these juices or if you want to see any that we uh, we should be reviewing on here, please sound off in the comments. Let us know. Leet juice reviews at gmail.com. I'm going to post that up at the end of the video just so you guys are able to contact us. What do you think? That is really good. You can <laughs> definitely taste the aftertaste. I normally stick to the fruity flavors whenever I'm vaping, but I really enjoy the menthol. You can The aftertaste is probably my yep. favorite part yeah. with it. It just sticks there, and you have that nice, cool feeling in your throat, and it's mm -hmm. just... It's perfect, and at a zero with this good of a throat hit, yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, that's the thing is if people who are trying to quit cigarettes, if you're trying to bring yourself down, or if you want to start yourself and say, hey, look, I don't need nicotine anymore, this could be something that's worth it for you because mm -hmm. you have that menthol kick that you may be looking for, as well as being able to get those slight tobacco uh, ends and then the throat hit. I mean, a lot of people are looking for those better throat yeah. hits. It's a 50-50 blend. Um, it's... 50% VG, 50% PG. Make sure that when you're uh, doing your research on the juices that you're looking for, this could be something that might be right up your alley. Um, so closing off for our lead juice reviews for the day, we tried out that Dracula, blood orange, black cherry, guava. What do we think? It was really good. Um, very citrusy with uh, a nice blend. It had all around good hit. Mm -hmm. Um being that it was an 18, it was a little hard to hit, but, um, you know, that'll come with citrus flavors. It, mm -hmm. it hits a little harder. And as well as with your higher nicotine, exactly. of course, you're going to get those higher throat hits as well, <laughs> these two. <laughs> yeah, and that's my go-to flavor. I love it. I can vape it all day. I love the citrus flavor that comes with it. Strong flavor, strong throat hit. It's just an all-around good flavor. And my first time trying it on a dripper, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was something that um, I could really enjoy um, as an all-day vape. Or for some of you people that are there just trying out new stuff, Drake's might be right for you. What do we think about French Vanilla from uh, Vape On? It was a it was a real warm hit. You know, solid vanilla. Uh, it's definitely not an all-day vape. It's way too rich to hit uh, over and over. But it's a nice little change of pace if you just want to mix it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Great mixing for some people as well. If you're looking for to add yeah. French Vanilla yeah. maybe to... Another I, flavor. I, I mean. threw it in with coffee and it was delicious. Yeah, yeah see, I mean, right there. Amazing. I mean, that's the thing with the beauty of this. Try stuff. I mean, mix French vanilla with bacon if you want. I mean, who <laughs> cares? I mean, it's what you guys like. Bacon will go well with anything. Bacon <laughs> does go well with everything, unless it's <laughs> shitty bacon like bacon bits. And then <laughs> just leave America now. Like, it, you, Canada's over there. <laughs> that's my second one for the week I, I only have like a lot of amount where I can get like inappropriate comments <laughs> if I must did we want um, them out? yeah I mean I, I hope so I mean this is now our maybe fourth or fifth video yeah, we'll need to cap it at some point yeah we're going to have to cap it <laughs> at some point my inappropriate comments are going to get out of hand um, Astro I'm sounding off on Astro first man oh. it's Freaking good. Once again with Space Jam, putting out that great juice. You're getting that Granny Smith apple with those awesome strawberry blend in there. They work well together. Um, yes, it's harsh in 18. You bring it down to the nicotine level. Of course, you're going to get a lot more flavor, a lot more uh, uh, maybe enjoyability at it for some of you guys out there. But uh, what do you think? Yeah, it's a, it's one of my go-to flavors to change things up because I'll usually stick with uh, Kryptonite or Andromeda. And... That's probably one of my favorite flavors. I feel like, you know, I want to, you know, try a new one or uh, change up a little bit. I'll go Astro because it gives you a nice blend that uh, you don't see very much. Yeah. What did you think? Yeah. And I haven't tried Astro before today. I've tried some of the other Space Jam flavors, and I've noticed they're all amazing. <laughs> and this one was no exception. It was just perfect. Real strong flavor. Good throat hit. I loved it. It the fruit just came out. Yeah. And that's what I find a lot with Space Jam is that you're going to find a lot of the freshness of Boba Fett yelling in the background at me. Um, but no, the freshness of the, the flavors that they put through is really awesome. And I urge you guys, definitely try some Space Jam juice if you haven't yet. If you have, buy 30 mils. I mean, it's, it's, just, a, it's just a sensible thing to do. Uh, last but not least, we had our Halo Sub-Zero in a Zero. What would you guys think about that one? 
Well, uh, it was my go-to flavor for a while. Um, being someone who came from uh, menthol cigarettes, it was one of the one of the things that got me into a lot of different flavors. Because I was going in uh, to the Humble East Seek and Vapor Lounge. Mm -hmm. Check it out if you're in the area. Another <laughs> plug. Um, I may work there. <laughs> it was. Uh, I, I checked it out the first time I went in there, and it was definitely one of my favorite flavors. It's a nice, cool throat hit. Um, you know, the aftertaste sticks with you for a good couple of minutes. It's definitely something you could, uh, vape on for a little while and even add into different things if you wanted to. And, um, that'll pretty much sound it off for us tonight. Uh, we're going to get, try to get one more out tonight. We got a, a great new company out of San Diego, San Diego e-vapers. Hopefully, we'll be able to get a review in there for you guys tonight with my boy Gavin. He'll be coming in in just a second. Um, but please sound off in the comments. Let us know what you think. If you want to see some new stuff, if you have any juices that you want to see us try that you're like, man, I'm on the fence. I don't know if that's going to be good. Milk and honey? I don't know. I'll tell you now. It's phenomenal. <laughs> but definitely try it out. Leechjuicereviews at gmail.com. Let me know what you guys think. Signing off again today, I'm Brian. I'm Ben. And I'm Hunter. Thanks again, guys, for watching us. And uh, hope to see you again soon. And stay classy, San Diego. <laughs>